Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel. Welcome to your weekly reading for the dates listed above. Just want to thank you for being here and for joining me. Um, please feel free to leave behind a like or subscribe if you enjoy this video. If you were after a private reading with me, all the information you require is listed below this video um, along with the deck, decks I've used as well. So um, let's get straight into it and see what's potentially coming up for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week. Let's see what the theme is for you, what you're coming up as, what's very dominant around the sign of Taurus. Could be like, where was it? This card. Wow, okay, magic. You've got the Priestess of Magic. Very, very powerful here, okay? Magic is all about divinity, things that are bringing um, magic and marvel into our lives. So this is very interesting here, Taurus. Okay, she represents the maiden, the mother, the wise woman, okay? Um, it's a very divine feminine energy. It's very uh, female empowered energy. So if you're a female watching this, I think you're coming into a very magical period here, very powerful period. If you're a man watching this, there may be a very strong, powerful woman that's coming into your presence here, okay? I sort of see this magic, uh, the priestess of magic as a high priestess. She's extremely intuitive and she's very sensual and fertile, okay? There could be um, planting a seed here, conception, birthing, something primordial that's coming into existence. Uh, existence. The two moons here, Cancer, um, they're they're mirroring each other emotionally you're mir uh, the cancer moons here um emotions are mirroring each other here taurus how you feel about a person okay um or the way you're coming across a person is actually being mirrored back to you now this is very powerful because it speaks of frequencies it speaks of you being on the same vibration as someone you're dealing with um which is is is, is quite powerful here um, it is a time to stand in your power like this priestess has. Um, it's a reminder of spirituality, confidence, skill, and creation. She's a powerful manifester here, so you could be um, manifesting something very powerful this week, uh, Taurus. Uh, you will create something using your divinity, your heart, your mind, and the divine power of the universe. I feel like it's falling in your favor. Um, now, the, this, this priestess, he has one foot in the physical world and one foot in the spiritual world. And I said she's the bridge between um, heaven and earth, okay, that spiritual realm and the earthly realm. Um, she can be seen as the magician here as well, so trailblazing, taking initiative as well. So it's, it definitely speaks of um, frequencies, uh, divine manifestation, wish fulfillment here as well, Taurus. Let's have a look and see how this applies for you. I think especially if you are dealing with a cancer or anything that's been emotional, um, the, the past may surface again, okay? Um, someone you've met in the past or emotions you've encountered from the past might resurface for some of you, uh, Taurians watching. Okay, this is very powerful. You've got the Empress, Three of Cups, and last card, I wanted this one, the Nine of Swords. Okay, the high pri uh, sorry, the Empress here. This is very powerful. Can point to a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo coming through here. This is chasing the sun like a moth to a flame. This is a very strong attraction here, to uh, Taurus. The Empress is often seen as very fruitful. Um, so again, you've got dub double seeds, pregnancy, um, creation, planting the seed or watching something grow or nurturing the growth of something in the upcoming week here. I think especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, there's a very immense attraction between the two of you. Uh, the Empress also rules the natural world, the spiritual world here as well. So I feel like you're seeing things come into abundance. It could be money as well. I feel like the Empress does rule that venetian energy so romance money anything that's very beautiful and appealing to the five senses taurus some of this uh this kind of experience is going to come to you i think in the upcoming week especially if you're dealing with a fire sign here and it's almost like she unleashes her basket you know you know it's almost like unleashes the butterflies here she lets them go and they they travel and they fly to the sun um so she's unleashing her magnificent powers here there could also be a fire sign that's really opening up to you, okay? There's someone that could be opening up about how they feel, um, how about how drawn they are to you, how smitten they are with you. They could also be opening up about their anxieties. They could be opening up into a more intimate setting here, okay? There's intimacy coming, coming into play here. Um, genuine emotional connections that are being 
communicated that are being felt uh, in the upcoming week. Is that better, that light? That might be better. Because you also have the Three of Cups here. Now, it's interesting that these two cards look to the Three of Cups. For some of you, there could be a third-party situation here. I mean, I don't think so. I see the Three of Cups being a very strong, um, building strong emotional bonds with people. Could be water signs in particular. The Cancer's coming up um, because it almost looks like a moon. Um, they are mermaids, so it could be the fish here. Okay, strong Cancer, Pisces energy. Uh, could be a Scorpio here as well. Uh, you're becoming more intimate with this person or this person is opening you up to their world. And this takes a lot for a water sign to do here, Taurus. So don't forget what this would mean to them. Um, if you ever, if you're feeling in the upcoming week that you haven't got enough mental clarity, that if you felt clouded in this judgment, don't forget that you've come in your power here, that you're, if you're coming up as the card of magic, You've got one foot in the spiritual, one foot in the earthly realm here, Taurus. And what that means is, is that you're connecting on a very intuitive level with someone else or with a group of people. Could be romantic here. Uh, it could be um, colleagues as well, okay? If you're in a collaborative environment or you work with a lot of other people, this could be establishing very beautiful friendships here as well. Uh, manifesting people in your social circle, circle or connecting um, some of you are, will be manifesting a connection or a, manifesting a reconciliation. You've either met this person before, there's a, the notion of a familiarity with them, okay? There could be a strong attraction here or you might be attracted to the same things. You might have similar business goals, creative goals. You might have similar goals when it comes to your love life. I feel like it's, this person is coming into your inner circle here. Um, this could also be becoming more spiritual with the people around you spirituality divine you know magic energy the natural world this is all coming in but i feel like this could be an event or a celebration that takes place in the upcoming week for you um, that could bring about you know that could have you seeing stepping into your power here in a very very major way um, it's pioneering something here because if she does represent the high priestess the magician this is starting something new and if you are, you're celebrating to this, okay? So you're celebrating. You've got a lot to look forward to um, here. There could be a lot of planning and or research here as well. Look, I'm not going to lie. The Nine of Swords is here. And I feel like it's, it's important that you don't... Your, your intuition, your frequency is, is very strong this week, Taurus. And it's. I feel like this card might be a message for you not to get too reliant on logic. Okay, and it's not bad to be logical, absolutely not here, Taurus. But what I'm seeing here is that sometimes thoughts, visions can spiral out of control. Sometimes there's, you know, uh, I'm all for escapism, but at the right place at the right time and when you really, really need it. Um, it's important to not remove yourself from a situation and be present, okay? It's all about being present, being in that circle, unleashing those powers here in the upcoming week. This could also be an air sign around you, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is going crazy thinking about you, okay? Um, their thoughts are spiraling out of control, whether for good or for worse. Um, they haven't taken flight yet, okay? So what I'm seeing here is this person is lost in their thoughts, but they haven't taken initiative. They haven't taken the steps. They haven't taken the same approach. I don't know if there is an air sign waiting for you to approach them, okay? Or they're imagining um, or they're fantasizing about you fantasizing about you waiting to approach them for a business idea for a date um, for a connection they feel like you've connected intuitively so you've either dreamt about each other you've thought about each other at the same time um, there was some sort of connection here so your frequency is aligned in one time or another but I actually feel like this person is waiting for you to reach out to them they feel an undeniable draw uh, towards you Maybe because you're creatively inclined, maybe because you share the same goals, maybe because you have a lot of common interests and this person wants to befriend you, or maybe they want something romantic from you here, uh, Taurus. But I am seeing that this person is thinking a lot about you, but they've got reservations, okay? The Dark Ravens are circling. They're vigilant, observant, capricious, paranoid. What's going on? It might not be an air sign, though. I mean, it could be any sign that you're dealing with here. Um, there's an element of uncertainty or mystery that's coming in around them. 
this, as I said, it can be any sign you're dealing with. And, you know, this could even be you here, Taurus. Nine of Swords. But the nine is coming to an end of a number here. So the nine is good. It shows that this phase will pass and that this week could see the end of that. Um, if you do have someone around you that's a little bit paranoid or unsure or hasn't really committed to anything in concrete, uh, this may just change with that very softer, intuitive side that you're going to present forward. Um, it's, it's empathy here as well. There will be someone around you that needs your help, okay? A shoulder to lean on, a shoulder to cry on. This is why they're sourcing you, Taurus, because you are the rock. You're the strong and silent type. This is what you're known for. Um, this is in your nature, and this is why you seek out people romantically like this or friends, because they know they can always rely on you. There's such reliability, um, and there could be someone here reaching out and wanting that from you in the upcoming week, to which you'll respond extremely empathetically here as well. So... Um, I will leave it at that though, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe and have a fantastic week ahead. So uh, thank you and bye for now.